guys and welcome back to Simply Forex, the channel dedicated to you, the trader. We want you to be successful in the markets. So guys, I'm going to give you some gold every day. I'm going to let you know which currency pairs I'm looking to trade and which direction. And I'm also going to let you know which news that you must be aware of. If you like these vids, then please subscribe to the channel and like and share. So let's take a look at the chart and what I'm potentially going to trade today. Good morning guys, it's the 23rd of December, it is a Thursday and there are only two days until Christmas. Woohoo! How exciting! Um, just important to mention now guys, I won't be trading tomorrow, Christmas Eve. Yeah, there won't be enough volume in the market and the markets can act a little erratically. So there won't be a morning analysis tomorrow, guys, okay? Um, yesterday, guys, my regular viewers, I hope you had a great trading day. If you followed my trade ideas, then you would have had a very profitable day. So I hope you did. Um, today, we've got three potential trades. The first one is this. This is the pound against the Australian dollar. We've been shorting this since yesterday. All right, so uh, yesterday another bearish candle formed. So I still think we have room to the downside. First of all, this blue line of around 8477. Okay, and then our second daily target is this 8425. Um, okay, so we're shorting this market. Let's look at H1 for execution. All right, so yeah, we've got two gray zones here, guys. So, first of all, price could retrace into this gray zone. Then we're looking for a bearish candlestick pattern, take back price back that back down to the last H1 low. This is always our first target. And then we can leave some money on the trade and take it further down to our daily targets. Um, if that doesn't happen, price could retrace all the way back up to this gray zone. But again, we're looking for a bearish candlestick pattern and we can take price back down to the low, first of all, and then leave a small portion on the trade and take it back down to our daily blue lines. Okay, guys, so pound against the other dollar short is our first trade. The second one is this. This is the US dollar against the Canadian dollar. So as you can see, we had a large bearish candle yesterday. Um, so I think we can take price lower. All right, our first blue line is at uh, 2806. Um, and then potentially we could take it back down to the last daily lows of around 2771. So we're shorting the US dollar against the Canadian dollar. Let's look at H1 for execution. Okay, guys, so yeah, we've got two gray zones again. So first of all, price could retrace into this gray zone, all right? Then we're looking for a bearish candlestick pattern. We can take price back down to the low, first of all, and then we can leave some money on the trade and take it back down to perhaps the first or even the second daily target, all right? Price could retrace further up into this gray zone, all right? And again, we're looking for a bearish candlestick pattern to take price back down to the last lows. And then again, leave a small portion on the trade and take it back down to one of the daily targets. All right, guys, so that's the second trade for today. Uh, US dollar against Canadian uh, dollar short. The last one today is this. This is the Swiss franc against the Japanese yen, guys. Um, as you can see, price has just been in this choppy, ranging market for days on end. But eventually, uh, eventually guys, it broke out yesterday. All right. It just broke the last high and we had a bullish candle taking this, uh, taking this market higher. OK, so we're looking to buy this market and our blue line is our daily target. So um, one, two, four, thirty eight. All right. So let's look at H1 for execution. Um, so, guys, yeah, we're looking for price to retrace into this grey zone. All right. We're looking for a bullish candlestick pattern and then we can take price back up to this last high this is always our first target the last h1 high or low and then we can leave some money on the trade and take it up to our blue daily target 
All right, guys. So, yeah, they're the three trades for today. Let's take a look at the crazy world of news. Um, before I start the news, guys, if you're enjoying this daily morning analysis and want to receive it every single morning, Monday to Friday, then please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so you won't miss a single one. All right, guys, so go ahead and do that. Um, so the news today, um, first news we're looking at today of any importance is this at 1.30 GMT. We're looking at the, this three-star rating coming out of the US, and this is core durable goods, okay? So a three-star rating can affect any trade uh, with the US dollar. Um, the next one we're looking at, guys, also at 1.30, is initial jobless claims, so some employment data, another three-star rating coming out of the US. Uh, if we look down further, also at 130 coming out of Canada, we've got the gross domestic product. So this really could move the Canadian dollar, guys. So keep an eye out for that. If we carry on further down, at 3 o'clock, we've got more data coming out of the US. We've got home sales. So again, this could move any trade that has the US dollar in it. Um, and then finally, guys, these, these US Baker Hughes oil rig counts. I know they're only two star ratings, but this can have a big impact on oil and therefore can have a big impact on the Canadian dollar. All right, so these oil rig counts are coming out at six. GMT. All right, guys, so that's the news for today. Um, like I say, if you've enjoyed this daily morning analysis, please subscribe, like, and share the video with your friends. Even leave a comment, guys. All right, I hope you have a wonderful trading day, guys, and I'd like to wish you a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great time over Christmas with friends and family, and stay safe. All right, and I'll catch up with you on Monday. See you later, guys.